Now, training neural networks and AI models involves a relatively simple process of providing examples, allowing the system to train on those examples, establishing the neural networking weightings, and it does that by um, going through a range of mathematical calculations. And then once we have a trained model, presenting it with options, such as an image, and asking it then to classify that. Is it one thing or another thing? That's why it's a classifier. So I want you to go through the uh, Teachable Machines tutorial and try classifying images, um, text, and audio, and see how quick and easy it is to do that. Um, you can do it even quicker by using your webcam and just having different facial expressions or holding up your hands or not holding them up and training it on that. But just explore the process of training a neural network. Um, and you can then see some of the functions that are produced from that training process by going in and clicking on the advanced option and then the look under the hood, which will show you the mathematical function. Now, the mathematical function is not going to make any sense to you. It just I just want you to be understanding of the fact that there is a mathematical function that is generated and that new images are then matched to that mathematical function. So go through the Teachable Machine tutorial and then I want you to try to create your own classification. Um, again, it could just simply be on images or you could try doing something a bit more complex. But in doing that, start thinking about how you could apply this in an educational situation. How could you apply it in the different um, applications that teachers do all the time in a school-based environment? Now, don't just think of it in terms of using chat GTP and large language models. Think about other classification processes whereby you could um, train a model that could detect various properties, classify them, and have a response based upon those classifications. And we'll discuss that in the tutorial.